Hello, what's good? I'm your boy Jay Howard and welcome to CSE Sports. I have a great topic I want to talk about today. And the topic is, for all you super duper basketball guys out there, who do you think will have a better season next year? That's right, 2014 season. Anthony Davis or Damian Lillard? Let's get started. Well, when I think about the two this season, we know Damian Lillard is pretty much the rookie of the year. Anthony Davis season it's, it's okay it's not terrible it could have been better but he's a rookie you know what i mean we got to give him a pass he was hurt and he plays for the new orleans <coughs> hornets and they had a lot of injuries they had a lot of new people so we have to give him a pass but coming into next year who do you think will have a better season let's break down the two right now anthony davis points per game 13.2 Rebounds 8.1 and 1.7 blocks per game. He's six foot ten. He plays power forward and possibly center next year. You never know, but that is his. Those are his statistics as of, as we speak right now. Damian Lillard 19.0 points per game, 3.2 assists and six no 6.5 assists and 3.2 rebounds per game. That's Damian Lillard's stats for this year 2013. Now let's move into the future, people. Let's move into the future. I think about um, Damian Lillard being on the Portland Trail Blazers. He's the navigator of the team. He has some decent talent around him. Of course, he's going to get better being a point guard. It's going to be hard, in my opinion, for him to slump unless he don't work on his game and get fed and lazy. But his game, in my opinion, is a little bit easier for him because even if he don't score the 19 points and he dropped down to like 15 or 14 and still get the assists. Now, I do think his assists are going to go up He's still going to be a phenomenal point guard for the second. If you get a second-year guy averaging like eight assists a game and 15 points, that's good. But let's move over to Anthony Davis. This guy is six foot ten, possibly might be still growing. We knew that he jumped. If you watched him in high school and in college, he jumped up so fast. I don't think he's growing. I mean, stop growing. So I'm going to give him possibly another inch. I'm going to give him 6'11 next year, and I'm going to give him probably about 10 more pounds of muscle. So, going into next season, I think Anthony Davis will be able to play center. Like, he can be a center next year, not a power four. I think he's going to play more center. They're probably going to start him at power four, but eventually he's going to roll around to be in the center next year. When I think about it, when you get a big man, um, especially in the West, and the West is fading with big men. Tim Duncan is getting older. You have Blake Griffin, but he's not a true, true big man. Zach Randolph. And you got uh, Mark Gasol, Paul Gasol, Dwight Howard. He can squeeze in there because he's athletic for his size and, and be one of the top five big men over there easy. It, it's a slot open for him. You know what I mean? Just like in the West, you know, you got Tony Parker and Westbrook and Chris Paul. It's a slot for Damian Lillard to slide in also. But I think Anthony Davis next year, they're going to put a lot into him. I think they're going to give him, I think, it's just my opinion, I know Portland has way more money, but I think a healthy New Orleans Hornets next year will be better than Portland. Like, real talk. I think they're going to be better than Portland next year. I think if they bring everybody back healthy and they start off fresh healthy, I think they can make the playoffs next year. Portland, to me, they can possibly make the playoffs too, but I still think Portland's going to have to add something over there. They're going to have to add rebound. They're going to have to add another big man to play with the Marcus Aldridge. They're going to have to add like a rebounder. I think New Orleans is a little bit more complete, in my opinion, with their team. They can add a little bit, some veteran leadership there. But I think they're complete as far as their starting five. You know what I mean? So next year, in my opinion, I think Damian Lillard is going to be better. But I think it's damn going to be a tie. You know, I, mean, I think it's going to be because I think Anthony Davis is going to move up to like from that 13 to like 18 next year. And I think he's going to be like at probably 10 or 11 rebounds. So I'm looking at him moving up about five points. I'm going to be honest with you. I think he's going to jump to like five points. He's going to be kind of like how DeMarcus Cousins is a little bit. Not with the style of play, but the numbers. He's going to be at that 18 possibly 11 i think he's gonna jump up and that can get them into the playoffs so i want to know what do you think about those two players next year going into 2014 who's gonna be better next year out of the two i'm your boy jay howard from csc sports peace and i'm out and also i want you guys to check out my video 
for the awards that I gave out for the regular season in the NBA. Check it out. It's on my um, playlist. Peace, and I'm out.